guys, what's up? So I am filming in a different location. I'm gonna try this out uh, for a few videos here and there. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, anyways, uh, for today's video, I wanted to talk with you guys about an ingredient that I consider medical grade skincare, and that is colloidal oatmeal. You hear me talk about it a fair amount, pointed out in ingredient lists. So today I wanna cover why colloidal oatmeal is a useful ingredient in skincare and something that I personally consider medical grade skincare as a dermatologist. It is an ingredient that has a long-standing track record and tradition of use in dermatology for a therapeutic skin protectant. So, you know, kind of in the theme of some of these more recent videos that I've been doing discussing ingredients like aloe vera, for example, you'll notice that some of these ingredients have been used by, uh, used in medicine for thousands and thousands of years, and colloidal oatmeal is no exception. I think dating back to as early as Roman times, it was in use not only as a food source, but also, also in uh, a variety of skin conditions and skin diseases. Oats are in the grass family, and they are particularly useful to think about in terms of their benefit to the skin in that they are very, very rich in starches. Oats, in particular, are rich in something called beta-glucans. Beta-glucans are these polysaccharide compounds that have a phenomenal ability to hold on to water. They have amazing hygroscopic properties. And the beta-glucans present in oats allows them to mix with water and produce a viscous solution or a hydrocolloid. And the water holding ability of beta-glucans in colloidal oatmeal is superior to any other biologic hydrocolloid. They're very abundant in lipids that um, have the potential to be nourishing to the skin barrier. I just kicked my trash can. Have the potential to be nourishing to the, the skin barrier. Very rich in triglycer in unsaturated triglycerides meaning lipids that are that have kinks in, in their chains. Because oats are so rich in unsaturated fatty acids, they also are very, very rich sources of antioxidants. So colloidal oatmeal, oatmeal makes a ton of naturally occurring antioxidants. The reason for this is to protect that lipid component of the oats from oxidation. Oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids is a risk that you might run into if you're someone who chooses to pursue a lot of oils in skincare. They're susceptible to oxidation and degradation, and that can be very damaging in the skin. But in the, set, in the situation of, of colloidal oatmeal and oats, they make so many uh, antioxidants, that it's like its own little natural natural system of, of everything that, that could possibly be needed in a topical preparation just made by the oat. I mean, if you look at the ingredient list of any um, body moisturizer, face moisturizer, cleanser, you will see that they add antioxidants to the product to stabilize the ingredients. Oats have already done that. You'll see they add humectants and moisturizing factors to condition the skin. Oatmeal already has that. You'll see that they add um, compounds that uh, prevent the ingredients in the product from degrading upon exposure to UV light. Guess what? Oats make their own, own compounds that do this, that can absorb UVA. So you can protect the product of the oat from UV damage, helping it to stay stable. Um, and because oats are such a rich source of lipids and high content of unsaturated fatty acids, they are appealing in skincare because they can help to condition the skin and help in um, conditions where the skin barrier is impaired. So they are ideal components in a moisturizer. 
I mentioned that oats are rich in antioxidants. They contain ferulic acid, the same antioxidant that is present in your vitamin C serums. It's added to that in a desperate effort to stabilize the vitamin C in your vitamin C serums to um, make it something that is not going to degrade. Um, so oats already make ferulic acid. They also make another antioxidant called caffeic acid and one called p-cumeric acid very rich in antioxidants. Then another unique property of oats is that they make something called avanacins, avanacins, or these are a type of a compound also called saponins. They are nice uh, compounds in products aimed towards cleansing because they have a large, what's called lipophilic moiety or region that will attract dirt and you know, dust and debris and oils on from the, on the surface that are on the surface of the skin but in addition to that lipophilic moiety that binds up all the dirt and stuff there is also a short sugar chain that nicely will mix with water to carry away that dirt and grime so in other words uh, colloidal oatmeal oats are a natural soap, a natural cleansing agent that is incredibly gentle. I've mentioned in my videos before one of the major shortcomings of body washes, soaps, cleansers, micellar waters is that they do not distinguish your bot, your skin barriers, lipids that it desperately needs from exogenous ones that you're trying to remove. And so a consequence of bathing and of cleansing and of using cleansers regardless of their pH, is that you invariably disrupt the skin barrier. As a cleansing agent, colloidal oatmeal really, really, really minimizes that. It is, it is very, very gentle. Um, and speaking of pH, the other fantastic property of colloidal oatmeal is that it is its own buffer system. And what that means is it can help regulate pH of the skin barrier. So the damage that comes as a result of cleansing, wherein you disrupt the natural acid mantle that is a protective part of your skin barrier. When you, um, when you disrupt that natural acid mantle, that pH, um, colloidal oatmeal is something that, through its buffering ability, can counteract that. So it is an ideal um, ingredient. I call it medical grade skincare because, sort of joking, uh, but, I'm, but it, there's actually a, a lot of truth to that in that colloidal oatmeal is FDA approved as a drug, as an over-the-counter drug. Um, it's just sitting there in Walmart and in um, you know, your drug stores. It's available internationally as well and is in, present in many skincare products. Um, but you know, you can pick up, this is the Aveeno Baby Colloidal um, Eczema Therapy Soothing Bathroom. This is just colloidal oatmeal that you can reconstitute into a bath. And this is, this is an FDA drug, but it's more than that to you, the consumer or the skincare consumer seeking moisturizers, seeking gentle cleansers, I don't know, seeking an antioxidant serum. Uh, here you have it in this packet. You have all of those ingredients. Now you might be wondering what distinguishes this from just oatmeal that you have in your pantry that you eat. This is a little bit different in that um, it meets uh, U.S. Pharmacopoeia standards uh, for, for how it is processed and made. So it's a little bit different. So the whole grain oats that you have in your pantry that you make breakfast, that you eat for breakfast, make cookies with, they um, consist of a, what's called a hull that encloses a little kernel. But colloidal oatmeal is different in that it is a finely ground powder. Um, it's oatmeal ground into a fine powder that has to meet specific size requirements for the different particles. Specifically, it has to have a um, established percentage of lipids within the product, and it also has to have within the within the within the powder what you get in this packet. 
uh, the size of each of the particles is, is regulated in that no, no more than 3% of the total particles in here can be greater than 150 micrometers in size. And uh, no more than 20% can, can exceed 75 micrometers. And the reason for this is this allows fine microparticles that will disperse very readily into water to form a hydrocolloid that will then deposit on the skin in an even manner to make a humectant rich and occlusive skin barrier. So this is fantastic. I've talked about the principles of moisturizing and moisturizer ingredients um, include a few different key players. Humectants hold water on the skin and occlusives prevent trans epidermal water loss. Colloidal oatmeal um, offers both of those properties which are essential as a good moisturizing ingredient. So it's a fantastic thing to pursue, and I think it's definitely undersold to you. And what I love about stuff that is that is FDA approved as a drug over the counter is that we know a lot more about it because it's regulated and it's something that we can study. We have a lot more established efficacy data and safety data. So colloidal oatmeal is has been studied and is well established to be safe in young children. Uh, both with and without eczema. It's been looked at for that purpose and it's been shown to be wonderful in as a gentle cleanser in those those age groups and for uh, helping to combat irritated and inflamed skin, which is what the ingredient is FDA approved for as a skin protectant. Um, so that is what, what its FDA approval status is for. Um, so it's safe and it's effective. We know it's good in efforts to restore the skin barrier because in eczema there is an inherent defect in the skin barrier that leads to irritated, raw, red, inflamed, and dry patches on the body that are incredibly, incredibly itchy. Um, we also know that colloidal oatmeal outside of eczema is a phenomenal ingredient to combat the symptoms of itch. So for example, this is fantastic should you um, should you have chicken pox, uh, you know, here in the States, we, we see that less often than when I was a child. I had it and I remember bathing in this. And it was incredibly soothing because you, if you've ever had chicken pox, it is a very itchy skin condition. So it can be helpful for that. This summer, if you find that you have been attacked by mosquitoes and you have the uncontrollable urge to itch, it's very itchy, this is very soothing. Also, coming up into summertime, uh, when you're outdoors more often, if you find that you've been exposed to poison ivy, I encourage you to consider this as a uh, something to, to combat that itch, very helpful. But, you know, it's rich in antioxidants, it's a great moisturizing ingredient. You can also use this as a sheet mask. You can use this as a face wash. It has so many, so much potential that is untapped. Nobody's using this. Instead, everyone's going out and buying rice extracts, yeast extracts, these exotic toners and things that try and do what we already know this does. And we already know this does this very, very well. And to a certain degree, better than any other grass or biologic hydrocolloid out there. So it's definitely undersold to, to you. Um, colloidal oatmeal, not only, you can also buy it, you know, you can buy it in these packets to be re reconstituted in your bath, but it is in moisturizers, um, it, you know, kind of as the active ingredient. So you all, you know, here in the States, I'm most familiar with Aveeno, also the Equate brand, the CVS brand, Wal you know, um, Walgreens brand, any store brand that is mimicking the appearance of Aveeno is just as good. And a viewer from, uh, I believe Australia sent this to me. It's made in Australia. This is one that is available, uh, Dermavine. Uh, I get, you know, I, I know it's challenging. A lot of the products I recommend are not available worldwide, but you know, this is, this is an option hopefully available to more of you uh, that maybe don't have access to Aveeno. Um, I recommend using this over trying to do DIY oatmeal preparations yourself. It's not to say that you can't do it, it's not to say that you can't grind your own oatmeal, but the way that this is filtered and processed, this really is the best way to do it because you know you're gonna get even dis dispersion of a 
of an occlusive barrier to 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 achieve what you want to achieve with this and um you know it it's much easier uh, you know people do their own oatmeal masks not not a problem but this is more effective is what i'm saying because it is because it is kind of standardized to particle particle size oh the other thing about oatmeal allergy and or irritation to this is practically nil um this is very very zero zero irritancy potential very easy to tolerate um, but one way that i recommend using this for those of you who are interested in masks and you know toners and all of that is to instead of bringing this up in an, an entire bathtub this entire packet is meant to go to be sprinkled into your tub just use a little bit of it and some water and you can leave it you can lather it onto your face as a face wash or you can lather it as a slurry onto your face and leave it on the skin as a as a serum as a as a toner you know as a toner like like you guys um, are always intrigued about you know toners this has everything that you're seeking in those cosmeceuticals this has it has all that stuff in 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 it so um and it's well known to be very easy to tolerate it can also be used as a mask uh if you're if somebody somebody who's really just got irritated inflamed skin you can reconstitute this in a little bit of water and what i um am a fan of is these little um reconstitutable sheet masks you can get these on amazon um, i have this big bag of 100 here you just um, take these and you can reconstitute them in a slurry of this colloidal oatmeal, put it on your face, leave it on there for about 15, 20 minutes, just like any sheet mask would instruct you to do. And, you know, so that you can go about your life, uh, it's really nice to get one of these silicone overlay masks. That way it holds it in place nicely and doesn't slip around. Uh, while you while you incubate with that on your face, I recommend this. I get these on Amazon, but you can get them if you have Daiso in your area. You can get them. I'll list it down below. But yeah, just incubate that on the face, and then take the mask off, and you don't even have to wash it off. This is this is something that can stay safely on your skin, and it actually helps your skin to to be moisturized, hydrated, protected. It is fantastic. It is safe for acne prone skin, oily prone skin, um, sensitive skin, great, you know, obviously most well studied in eczema and in conditions where the symptom is itch. So yeah, it's a great ingredient and I have wanted to make this video for quite some time. And so I hope it was helpful to you guys. Comment below and if you use any colloidal oatmeal containing products, um, I would love to know, but I strongly recommend giving it a try and, you know, thinking about it. It's very inexpensive for these packets and, you know, this is like, this is like what SK2 wants to be, <laughs> I feel like, this. I mean, this has everything that people who are seeking those cosmeceutical serums and the Asian toners that they're, that they're looking for, this we know has those ingredients. Uh, that you could pursue uh, that I feel really confident in um, that this that this will be helpful to many of you. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.